what was shocking was how fast some of these buildings just disappeared. And what happened was is the economy went into free fall and so some of these um, properties just became uneconomic. It was in, impossible to make them exist. I don't remember the actual fires. I just remember the aftermath of it. Like you went to bed and there was a building on the corner with people in it and then you woke up in the morning and you saw how, how flames leave the black on top of the windows and, 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 and the buildings were abandoned. Uh, landlords just abandoned the buildings and the city became the ultimate owner of these buildings and then they just uh, deteriorated to the point where the city didn't have money because there was a recession. The private sector didn't have money because um, uh, there was no way to make money from the tenants or the buyers of property. And so it was a big problem. And so you wound up with, with uh, just vast areas of, uh, of uh, open space in Bronx and Brooklyn that uh, were at one time neighborhoods. And it was a real, real tragedy. And the number one thing that uh, was done was to take the city capital money, the money that builds parks, schools, and uh, hospitals, spend that money for housing, uh, which had never been done before. And then not just spend it a little bit, spend it a lot. It wasn't only just the government, and it wasn't just only Koch's administration um, uh, getting involved in you know, creating these buildings and creating these ho homes, but it was also the community themselves. The Mid-Bronx Desperados is, is, was really young people who sort of took over uh, a building that was abandoned, and they decided they were going to fix the building up anyway by themselves. And so the, the conversation was... You know, they started to work in a building and they were doing something illegal. They were. They took private property, but they were doing something that was good. And they carried everything up by hand and uh, they would take water from the fire hydrants. And I, we shouldn't uh, say too much about this, but they would take uh, electric from the, um, the, the street poles to make, uh, to make it work. So they were really sort of grassroots making something happen. And uh, we, in the end, instead of kicking them out, we worked out a situation where they were able to incorporate, become uh, the legal owners of this building and transfer the property to them and uh, allowed them to manage first that building and then another building. And before you know it, they had like a little neighborhood of themselves uh, operating a neighborhood.